Good evening, guys. Uh, Rob here at the homestead, and uh, this is the second part of uh, the series on building a hot tent. Um, today I'm going to kind of experiment. Uh, I was going to put a tarp over this frame. Um, and some of you who know me know I work in um, packaging. Uh, I package cheese for a living. And we use a lot of shrink wrap. And it's pretty rugged stuff. And I'd heard of someone doing a kayak or canoe uh, with shrink wrap. And so I went to Staples, Staples, and um, I got some shrink wrap. And I am going to try and shrink wrap this frame um, and see what I can get. It should be interesting. Um, I've never done this, so you are watching what I'm doing here. Either it's going to be very frustrating or it's going to be pretty easy. We'll see. Um, meanwhile, I have the crazy golden retriever with me, and she's going to probably drive me nuts before it gets dark. I kick the ball, and she runs. So, um, uh, I'm going to set up the camera and um, let you... <laughs> let you be entertained by my misery here hopefully it won't be too bad we'll uh we'll try and enjoy it Hey guys, so last night I worked on this and I kind of shrink wrapped it. It's not the best shrink wrap job in the world, but the way I built it, it made it very difficult to um, wrap it up. But it, what it will do is it, it will give me the opportunity to put the heater in there and see how it retains the heat. Today, I'm just going to try and make a door. Um, 
It's not going to be anything fancy, but um, just something we can go in and out of. And uh, I'm, I'm winging it. So come along for the ride and uh, we'll see how this turns out. Hey guys, uh, I'm going to give you a quick walk around of what I got done here of this. And as I go, just uh, look, I think I'm going to fill in down around the edges with snow. Um, just because it's very difficult to get the shrink wrap all the way down. Um, and now that the shrink wrap's on there, it's pretty rugged. So I think I'm going to take these braces off that I'd put on. Um, and it'll make it a little easier to walk around and do stuff around the, the, uh, tent. So, um, I cut this out and I think what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to build a little door that will swing out and in, and I'm just going to use, I've got some big zip ties that I keep in the truck and I'll use those to attach the door just so I can pick it up and close it. Um, you know, I talk about this where I'm just having fun. I'm not doing bushcraft skills and I don't want to make light of the people that do that. They, I think they teach a very valuable lesson. Um, that's just not what I want to do. I spent a good portion of my life in the military and I went through, um, schools that taught, um, uh, winter survival. I went through the Northern Warfare course up in um, Alaska. And it's serious stuff. And if you think you're going to be out in the weather and you want to do something like this, you certainly should have some knowledge of um, winter survival. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's a dangerous thing. You can... Um, Things can quickly go south on you uh, if you're not prepared. Um, living in northern Vermont, we hear story after story from our... I have friends that are um, fishing game officers, and the better part of their year is uh, doing mountain search and rescue. So there are a lot of people that want to be out in the... Uh, in the elements in the winter time and they are just not prepared um, with this I can hit our house with an arrow if I had my my bow with me um, we're not very far away I can play around and do silly things like this and not worry about um, being 25 miles away from home on snowshoes um, I just uh, I just wanted to tell you guys that um, I don't make light of the guys that do survival videos. I think it's uh, it's a great thing. And if you want to be out in the elements, by all means, go watch some of those videos and, and heed them. They are, um, it's serious stuff. So anyways, back to the fun stuff here. <laughs> um, so I'm going to take you inside and I'll show you. Uh, how it turned out inside. I haven't gotten to tarp down or anything like that, and we're going to do that. Um, so let's uh, let's go in, and you can see down around the edges. Couldn't really get close to the edge with the shrink wrap, but uh, like I said, I think I'll just take the snow and I'll pile it up around the edge and kind of block that out. Um, this is uh, this is kind of like a double pane glass here because um, I, I wrapped it around and uh, there's like a barrier in there. Certainly not uh, <laughs> not sealed up like a glass pane would be. Um, but using um, 
using propane to heat this or any kind of heat source it's good to have a little ventilation so it's not a huge tent but i think uh one of the grandkids and i could probably spend the night in here pretty comfortably um depending on what we put in here i'm thinking i've got a couple old military cots that would go in here fairly well um so uh this is uh, phase two, and um, I'm going to probably build that little door and uh, shrink wrap it up, and then, um, then I'll show you that and see how it works. I'm going to have to run down to the truck and get some zippies. Um, and if you use zip ties, I don't have them, but I plan on getting them in the grip lock ties. Um, I know that uh, if you watch Mike Patey or Mark Patey, uh, the Bush Pilots out of Utah, um, they have a company, I believe it's them, they have a company that does grip lock ties and they're zip ties that are reusable and they're really cool. Um, when I run out of the zip ties in my truck, I'm going to order some of those. I know they're a little bit more expensive, but so often I'm using zip ties where I could reuse them. And Callie's losing her mind. She thinks I need to kick the ball. So, um, I'm going to turn you off. I'm going to work on the door. And uh, I'll... I'm sorry. I'm going to turn you off. I'm going to work on the door. And then I'll turn back on and uh, show you how I uh, fared with that. And maybe I'll kick the ball for the dog for a minute so she'll leave me alone. So. Um, so it's getting dim um, fortunately the days are getting longer but uh, I got the door done nothing special but um, it works just uh, just so you can open it up and close it um, there's uh, it's um, I think it's pretty much done We'll spruce up the ground inside, maybe uh, get some fir boughs and put it in there, make it kind of soft. We got plenty of them around. <laughs> and um, so I think we're going to wrap up this uh, second edition with, uh, with this. And um, hopefully... Uh, by, uh, by next week, we'll have a video out for you uh, of us sleeping in here. We'll see. Tomorrow it's supposed to snow, so it might be a good night tomorrow night. Time will tell. Um, so, like and subscribe, and uh, stay tuned, because you never know what's going to happen here at the homestead. Um, between dogs and hot tents and tractors and... Um, and logging and uh hopefully we'll do some real building here in the not so distant future um i know that i'm gonna fire up the sawmill here in the next couple of weeks and really start kicking out some lumber um the uh the build isn't that far away and i've got to start uh, putting things together so uh Anyways, enjoy it, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Like, subscribe, and uh, share with your friends. And I noticed there's a lot of people watching the videos, and they're not subscribed. So um, go ahead and subscribe. It's just a click, and, um, and then you'll be able to see when I put the next video out. Um, you can hit the bell notification, and, uh, and that'll help too. So... Um, the next surprise is right around the corner here at the homestead. We'll uh, we'll see you see you soon.